Liz Truss couldn't outlast a wet lettuce in her turn as Prime Minister, but there's another famous face who pipped her to well past her 44-day post. On Thursday, Prime Minister Truss sensationally resigned from her position after just 44 days in 10 Downing Street. Wild speculation around the reasons for her failed term has brought on bizarre theories of everything from a JLS bad luck charm to her super fandom of Taylor Swift. But the most embarrassing fact to come from the end of her disastrous occupation of number 10 is thanks to Hugh Grant. Christmas cult classic Love Actually was released in 2003, with the lovable Hugh starring as David, a fictional British Prime Minister. The quick-witted, jump-singing leader falls in love with Martine McCutcheon's Natalie after she bags a job as his secretary. The Richard Curtis film started filming on September 2, 2002, and wrapped 13 weeks later, before it hit big screens just under a year later. Hugh Grant was technically playing the Prime Minister from the moment the cameras started rolling to the final time the director shouted cut. His political filming stint lasted just over three months or around 91 days. And it doesn't take a genius to work out that those figures put him in office for more than double the time Liz has held power, the shortest administration of any PM in British history. Film fans have taken to Twitter to comment on the unlikely political fact, with one writing, Liz Truss probably didn't even get the chance to recreate Hugh Grant's stance from Love Actually at number 10. Small mercies, another joked, Hugh Grant should get another PM term. A third film fanatic wrote, if King Charles III wanted to increase his popularity, he would sack the yet-to-be-appointed UK PM, dissolve Parliament and instruct Hugh Grant to form a government, 